This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. African swine fever virus is a terrible disease that obviously affects only swine. This is a virus that would have mortality across all ages of pigs. So African swine fever virus is quite a bit scarier than PEDV. This would be important economically to the swine industry. It's estimated to cause about $4 billion of impact if it were to get into the United States. African swine fever virus, because it is a foreign animal disease and a reportable animal disease to the World Health Organization requires its status to be listed as a biosafety level three agent. That means that this research can only occur in laboratories that have biosafety level three status. And so all of the research that we're doing with African swine fever virus occurs at Pat Roberts Hall or the biosecurity research at Kansas State University. Pork producers are on heightened alert for this disease to potentially enter the United States because if it does, most of the highly virulent strains will cause about 100% mortality. In the past six to eight weeks is that it's now been transmitted into the domestic pig populations in both Romania and in China. China in, includes about half of our pig population on a global basis. Because of their high concentration of pigs, predominantly in the eastern one-third of their country, as the disease has moved into the domesticated swine herd, it's become a real risk for transmission into the United States. That's because we import a high quantity of ingredients and products from China into the U.S. Things like soybean meal and choline chloride have been demonstrated to harbor virus or keep it viable for a long period of time. We have recently put a number of resources on our website, www.kswine.org, to help producers and feed manufacturers understand what they can be doing to help prevent African swine fever virus transmission into the United States. Some of these things include just prevention of import of some of the ingredients from high-risk countries that have shown susceptibility to harbor the virus. Having a major virus like African swine fever virus enter the country would be devastating economically to our agricultural sector. It also, I think, would be very damaging from an emotional perspective as we think about um, about 100% mortality to those affected domesticated herds um, with no vaccine and no potential treatment. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.